Hi, welcome back to C++ for open formulas. Open form. All right. Welcome back. So, uh, in the last video, we were talking about uh, simple print functions, uh, C in, uh, uh, C out and end line. So, these are the most basic. This is basically a print statement. And of course, end line. All right, end line statements. All right, so uh, what is our objective here? So I'm just going to give us an overview before we, you know, uh, keep going and we don't know where we are going. All right, as is the case with a lot of education. Yeah. So eventually, the end goal. Uh, is to write our own solver and maybe um, okay uh, foam solvers all right so incompressible echo foam so this is what we want to edit hopefully all right so um, we want to understand what the coding structure is telling us Okay, so we'll need to understand a little bit about functions. We will want to understand something about while loops, if loops, all right, um, and how, how you know, how these uh, things are added, like all of these. There's a uh, check case options, all this kind of thing. How is this uh, C++ code actually, uh, how is it actually written? Uh, what is it telling us to do? What is it telling the code to do? And yeah, we will want to understand all of this. And to do that, we will first, I mean, we want to edit solvers with some understanding, all right? So what's the first thing we need to do? All right, so you need to understand basic command of C, basic syntax of C++. Okay, so I'm gonna go right through very quickly. Number two, we want to do math. And hopefully, we can solve simultaneous equation. Simultaneous equation, ODEs, matrices. Okay, let me zoom out and give myself more space. Matrices. Oops, uh, matrices, yeah. Okay, and also we want PDEs as well. We know solve PDEs. So, at least for the math part, we will want to uh, understand uh, basic conduction. So we hopefully we will be able to write some form of uh, basic uh, Laplacian uh, form conduction uh, solver by the end of this uh, C plus plus. At least for that phase. And then number three, we want to talk about uh, object oriented. Object-oriented programming, because this is uh, what C++ the main feature, the main draw of C++ is object-oriented programming. Like uh, when we talk about classes, okay. So we'll have to build up to all of these things. These are the main things. Then of course we want to discuss uh, libraries and all that, so that we can get our, we can solve our open form solver. Solver. So I'm using my mouse to write. Uh, hopefully it's not too messy. So this is the basic stuff. So um, what we want to do is talk about. Uh, let's use another ink. Printing. Input output. Okay, maybe I shall type it instead of writing it like that. Input output. Uh, while for and if if statements okay so these are the basic the basic thing for um, basic thing for um, C++ uh, or any programming language they will have these kind of features so this is a very uh, prescriptive way uh, programs programs are instruction then here we'll want to talk more about matrices and 
we have C math. So what can C++ do with math? And of course, uh, vectors, etc. Okay, we we'll want to uh, see how to use C++ to you know, add vectors and everything like that. Hopefully in an efficient manner and uh, solve a conduction problem. This one will or object oriented programming. It may, it may very well uh, line up with this math part because it may help to speed up perhaps this conduction solver. And of course libraries we can kind of add into our solver in future. And once we do that, we can start looking at our open form solvers and see what's actually going on. So that's the aim on and the overview of this uh, little, little series, all right? So, um, well, just to start us off uh, with the math, okay? I've added a few, you know, basic functionalities in there. So, uh, for example, in that, we will want to uh, do a little more, okay? So, let's go to basic code. I've added uh, a little bit of math, okay? So, I have um, two, two additional uh, things from uh, the other video. So let me show you what the app does, what the executable does. So I'll clear this and list. So 2 plus 2 dot C plus plus, and it just prints what, plus, what is 2 plus 2, and that is equals to 4. Okay. And we want to do the add A and B. Okay. So it asks you for a value of A. So I'll give it 5.3. What's the value of B? 9.9999999. Okay. So it gives us the answer rounded off at about 15.3. So is that's 10 plus 5.3, which is close enough. Now, how are these uh, programs actually done? All right, so uh, I, I assume we have some prior programming knowledge, so, uh, like MATLAB or Excel VBA, or some other Python kind of thing. You should be able to understand this fairly easily. Okay, so I'm going to vi math.c++, and this is how we do math okay so this is the this is the script for the second piece uh, okay so these these are print statements not very not very uh, nothing new about that and uh, what am I doing here I'm declaring a variable okay uh, so here I'm declaring that a and B are variables so um, what does that mean? Okay, remember in a in let's say MATLAB, so I can pull up MATLAB. Okay. Let me speed that up. Okay, so this is the MATLAB interface. And let's say we we say A equals to 100.5. So that is that tells us okay, we have declared a variable and we have given it a value. A equals 100.5 nothing too big about that that's MATLAB right so this is kind of declaring a value variable and then we assign a value of 100.5 now similarly we can declare variables in C++ by saying okay uh, I want to declare a a variable so a is a variable I declare a, a variable okay so normally how we would start writing it is like so yeah, we declare a as a double variable double meaning it's a decimal number we can also use the the word float so let's say if you want to declare b a float variable we can put it as such okay so we can uh, g plus plus math.c plus plus okay Math.c++ and with the output of uh, at a and b, okay. So once that is code is compiled, we can run the a and b script again. So I'll run again five point three. 9.9999 okay I'll just give it some number and this is what we end up with okay so um, this is this is how we we do what we what we need to do for C++ uh, we declare variables so um, 
of course we don't have to uh, if you want to declare two floats okay we want to declare a and b as a float all we have to do is float a comma b so this will declare two variables as floats both a and b okay so i'm just going to g plus plus and it's going to give us the same result just compiling and so 3.355 and okay so i just add two numbers together okay so this is just uh, some revision we declare some variables it can be a float it can be a double if you are doing math or it can be a string a string means it's a text okay so if let's say and let's say we want to say this is a string one right so I, I'm gonna write string uh, first statement statement okay that should that should declare it as a string Yes, but however to declare this variable, it's always good to include this string. Uh, include string, uh, this string library, or this, uh, yeah, string library into the uh, code. So if you want to do that, we'll need to do this. Include and string. Okay. All right. Okay. Hashtag include string. Okay. And I'll save. Okay, so string first statement. And then I will want to say string second statement, string third statement. All right. What am I doing? I'm actually declaring three string statements, which is three pieces of text as uh, string variables. So I can say the first statement equals, and then now I'll say this. All right. And then uh, I'll semicolon that. Second statement. Did I semicolon? Yeah, I did. So this is a second statement. And then I'll do this semicolon. Third statement. I'll do this, copy and paste. And then that will be a, another statement. Okay, so one two and three that's three statements out and what i can do is i can just replace this with first statement and then i can do this with second statement and i can do this with the third statement and that won't change anything Okay. All right. So uh, save and I'll compile this using G plus plus, and I'll clear this up and let's let's run uh, A and B. It will function exactly the same way. So three point three, six point six, and you'll add nine by nine. So these are just the, some revision of what variables are like, and this is a. Uh, this is what C++. So we are learning to declare variables. All right. So um, I'm wondering if I should just include the C in as well. All right. Um, all right, I might as well include C in. So um, yeah, this is kind of a crash course. Okay, so I assume you're programming language, so I'm going to go a little bit faster. Okay, so uh, we have declared, for example, the string the string statements we have I mean we have declared string variables the first statement second statement third statement so we have said the value of these string variables are the as such so we wanted to print these so this is what the C++ is printing okay so that is declaring of variables string variables but what about these float variables where do where does their value come from well in previously we saw that the in the user, we, uh, it prompted the user for some input, right? So actually, what was going on is that we use this C in. So C in uh, with uh, two uh, arrows going to the right or two greater than signs. This actually talks about hey, I, I have a 
I, I want the user input and I'll assign that input to the value A. Okay, so this one is uh, just adding A and B. So uh, this second statement says, please state a value for A. So I'm gonna state a mathematical value for A and then I wanna state a mathematical value for B. All right, so that, that's what the C in actually does. All right, um, so this is how this is how C++ actually does some addition. All right. And what does the last part say? It says print the value of A plus B. So you can just uh, put A plus B here. It will do the math for you. Okay. So you can just as well, you can just as well uh, do this. All right. You don't need to declare variables like that. You can just do nine times nine for uh, multiplication. So what will happen? It will just print 81. So 81, okay. Let's do a G plus plus again. We need to add uh, math.c plus plus and add A and B. Oops. Wrong one. I, I gave give the wrong thing. Okay. With the output of at A and B. Okay, so let me clear that up. So let me run it at A and B. So 5.5, 3.3, and that's done. And then we printed an extra line 81. That's just multiplication. Okay, so this is basic uh, declaration of variables and simple addition, nothing more than that. In the next video, we want to try something more complicated. Okay, so I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.